In psychology, there's a cognitive bias known as the information bias. This is defined as believing that the more information that can be acquired to make a decision, the better, even if that extra information is irrelevant to the decision being made. So let's take an example. Imagine that you're buying a house, but the house is way over budget and you find that out. So you should be going on to the next house, but yet you're still asking questions about the house. Why would you do this? One question I want to challenge you with is asking the question, is it really irrelevant? What does irrelevant mean? Maybe the information isn't irrelevant, but you're looking for extra information to help you justify expanding your budget to actually buy the house. Now let's change that example a little bit. Imagine that you found a house, it's way within budget, you love everything about it, it's almost a definite done deal. But you keep on asking these questions that are really irrelevant. They're irrelevant in the sense that no matter what the answer is, you're still going to buy the house. Why would you do this? Well, two main reasons perhaps. One, you're simply procrastinating. You don't want to make a decision for one reason or another because making a decision can be uncomfortable to you, especially a decision as large as buying a house. Other times, you might just be attempting to justify a choice you've already made. So if you've already chosen to buy the house and it's pretty much a done deal in your head, you're just looking for that extra justification. Remember these two reasons the next time you're involved in a decision and you keep on asking for extra information. This can improve your decisiveness by helping you realize that you probably already have all the information you need to make a good decision.